Hey everyone, Chaps here. And how old is Marcus Phoenix? Or how old is he really in human years? Due to the lack of like real news, I figured that I was going to start highlighting some interesting threads or topics from Reddit. And in doing so, in the first video of that, uh, it reminded me of some math that I did a while back, and I said I'd make a little bonus episode to revisit some of that math. Uh, so that's where you are. That's what this video is. So I've got a spreadsheet over here with some on math, so I'll keep looking over at that. But according to the lore, Marcus was born in 22 BE, or before emergence, and then the swarm started appearing in 42 AE, so 68 years. But actually, no, there was 0 BE and 0 AE, so counting's a bit odd. It's actually 70 years. So Marcus is 70 years old during the Gears 4 and Gears 5 time frame. Might be a little bit off just due to, like, what month did emergence happen, or what month was he born, what month are we in in Gears 4 and Gears 5, but he's right around 70 years old. But wait, th there's more to that. So if you know a little bit about the lore and Sarah, you know that there's 26-hour days rather than 24-hour days. You may have also seen some of the locust or human calendars in multiplayer maps or in campaign. They point to Sarah having a 10-day week instead of a 7-day week. That's not super important. But the important part is that they have 12 months, each with 30-something days. According to Gearspedia, it's between 30 and 38. So if we have 30-something days, that points to a low end of 360 days per year. That's, you know, 30 times 12, which is similar to Earth at 365. And a high end of 456, that's 38 times 12. Uh, Gearspedia says it's between 420 and 460 per year, and I'm not really sure how they came to that 420 conclusion. If we know that some of the months have 30 days, we've seen it on some of the calendars. So 360 seems like the better, like, short end for me. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the number of days in a year. I've also seen clocks on Sarah that it, it seems to indicate that there are 60 minutes per hour and there are 60 seconds per minute. And through some of the countdowns, especially like the Hive Busters type thing, we've seen that a second on Sarah is the equivalent of a second on Earth, which makes things a lot easier for us. So what does this all tell us? If we stack it up, Marcus is 70 years old, 70 Saren years old. A Saren year is, I'm going to use 400 days. It's right between that like 360 and 460 number. So 400 Saren days in a year. Each Saren day is 26 Saren hours, and each Saren hour is about one Earth hour. So the math gets pretty simple. 70 times 26 over 24, and times 400 over 365. That puts us right around 83. So Marcus, he's, what, 70 years old in Gears 5, which looks great for 70, but he's actually 83 human Earth years old. I don't know what they're putting in the sarin water there, but Marcus seems pretty healthy for an 83-year-old. Also add that, like, if we use 450, which is sort of the middle ground for the uh, for Gearspedia, Gearspedia, how many days in a year they said there is, um, that puts Marcus right around 93 years old. So uh, he, he's getting up there. I, I actually, so I mentioned this in the old video, but I actually made a post about this on Twitter quite a while back, like a few years ago, um, and got a fun response, so I figured I'd share that here. Uh, good old John DiMaggio, the voice of Marcus, giving a nice uh, Gears 5-esque quote for me. Um, yeah, so I like that. Um, I'll also add a little fun bonus fact. This is a bonus video, now we get a bonus fact for the bonus video. So we established that a Saren second is the same as an Earth second. We also know that the scale on Sarah is similar to Earth. Uh, Marcus, as an example, is, I think he's 6'1". He's like just over six feet tall. Um, and so knowing scale and time passage, and knowing those are about the same as Earth, we know that the acceleration due to gravity is the same as Earth. Well, actually we can visualize it and we see it looks similar. And being that we know the scale of time and distance is the same as Earth, then, yeah, the acceleration due to gravity is the same. 32.2 feet per second, or 9.81 meters per second squared, whatever <laughs> units you want to use. I will say that Sarah does appear to be using uh, imperial units, not metric, so... Uh, actually, I don't know. I like metric, so maybe Sarah's just wrong. 
Um, anyways, um, being we know the acceleration due to gravity, uh, it's pretty simple physics to tell us that Sarah is approximately the same mass as Earth. Hey, Future Traps here. I'm editing this video and I just realized I made a uh, stupid mistake. I said that we know the acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared on Sarah, which is the same as Earth. And that tells us that the mass of the planet is the same as Earth. That's not true. Um, I think the equation has m over r squared in it, so it's actually telling us that the mass to radius squared ratio of Sarah is the same as Earth. So without knowing the size of Sarah, which I comment on later, which is now invalid, but without knowing the, the size of Sarah, we can't really comment on the mass of Sarah. So yeah, the rest of this video is uh, not really true. All right, so yeah, back to editing. It's hard to really comment on the size of the planet, but we know that the mass of the planet is about the same. And if we assume it's like, you know, the average density of the planet is the same as Earth, like it doesn't need to have the same core and mantle and crust and everything. But if the overall density of the planet is about the same as Earth, then the size of the planet is also about the same as Earth, which again, we have to make some big assumptions to come to that. But if that's true, that means there's a lot of Sarah left to explore, which, hey, maybe maybe future games, right? So, all right, that, that sort of wraps up the, that, that bonus fact in the original video. Marcus, 70 years old in Gears 4 and Gears 5, actually the equivalent of something in the, I'll say, 83 to 93-year-old range in human years. Again, this is just a quick video, uh, part of something I'm something like new I'm trying. Uh, I'm just, uh, let me check my notes, make sure I didn't actually miss anything. Yeah, all right. So as you can tell, something quick that I'm trying, not a lot of production value. Uh, I'm not doing a bunch of like detailed editing and jump cuts and stuff in here. So if there is a topic that like actually deserves that higher production value, I, I do kind of miss doing, you know, I've done a lot of animations in the past for like the horde guides and stuff like that. So if there's a topic that I'm interested in that warrants that, I'm not afraid to do that. They don't all need to be this low production value thing. But yeah, I figured for now, this is better than nothing. And if you see a thread that is an interesting topic that you want to see my thoughts on, feel free to pass it along. Um, and honestly, even if it's not a Reddit thread, if you have an idea or a topic or you see a tweet or something and you want my thoughts on it, send it over to me. Uh, I may just do a quick response there, but if it's something that I really do find interesting, I can do my best at trying to make a video or something. Uh, if you enjoy this type of thing, please let me know so I know to keep doing them. Uh, consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy it, and thanks for watching everyone. I'll catch you next time. See ya.